Last month, I had the wonderful privilege to do something I never seem to find the time to do, take a break. After attending a sustainable runway show that I was a designer in, which still completely blows my mind, I decided to stay in Joshua Tree a couple extra days to enjoy the nature, explore the area, and really just relax. After balancing working my 9 to 5 job and growing my side hustle and attempting to have a social life and trying to be a good friend, sister, daughter, girlfriend, and all the things I am, for three years straight, I feel like it was finally time to figure out how to balance in some self-care, rest, and relaxation time. Here's how I did it. One of the toughest things about taking time off as a workaholic is that my mind never shuts off. What's my schedule when I get back to work? Did I forget to finish something before I left vacation? Do I even deserve this time off? And having these thoughts doesn't necessarily stress me out. I actually really love being productive and being efficient and getting stuff done. But over time, these thoughts really build up to an anxious peak. I really made it a point this trip to try to let go of the mishmash of anxiety riddled <laughs> thoughts I have about productivity and just focus on enjoying my time. Spending my time off across the country in a town like I had never been to before <laughs> definitely helped keep me focused on living in the moment. The atmosphere in the desert is obviously so much different than my little Hoboken, New Jersey bubble. Nice. I was fascinated, <laughs> fully present and living in the moment. So my first trick to effectively taking time off as a workaholic is to travel somewhere new. Not necessarily the other side of the country, but somewhere as simple as a local park that you always wanted to check out. Or take a wrong turn on your way home from work on a Friday afternoon. Or check out a Sunday farmer's market a couple towns over from you. But then you see the bottom of the... Speaking of farmers markets, we stumbled upon the cutest farmers market on Saturday on our way to Pioneer Town. After participating in a few craft markets myself, I've developed a huge respect for small businesses and farmers and crafters, bakers, and all entrepreneurs for all the hard work that they put in while somehow staying positive and smiling even as people pass without acknowledging their booth. It's just so admirable how hardworking they are. We saw some Joshua Tree souvenir shops run by locals, so I picked up a thing or two this to is remind beautiful. myself of my first little trip to the desert. Taking some time to stop working on your own stuff and looking around to appreciate other people hard work is such a humbling oh, way to take on? some time off. I feel like we're constantly obsessed with ourselves and our own metrics and we often forget to acknowledge how hard other people are working toward their dreams and how important it is to be supportive of others too. We headed over to Pioneer Town, which is apparently a historic town plus an area where they yeah. shot a ton like, try of it. western movies. Yeah. The vibes were really cool, very much straight out of a movie scene, and the atmosphere was just very authentic. We saw the cutest of goats and chickens, and oh I just God. found the entire oh experience so entertaining. I honestly didn't learn too much about the history of the town or the community culture or anything, but sometimes pure entertainment is the best form of relaxation. I tend to listen to informational podcasts or docu-series as my relaxation time, but I'm low-key only justifying consuming so the entertainment because I know that I'm learning something new rather than watching reality TV or some sitcom that seemingly has no direct value to my life. With Pioneer Town, I allowed myself to take in each shot, each interaction, each musical number as purely entertainment, with nothing in it for me other than amusement. And I think that's important to do sometimes. So we wandered around and enjoyed the A-class entertainment before leaving to go on the coolest hike I've ever been on.
I think it's important to note that this moment in my life, being able to travel while having a stable day job, while monetizing my passion project, while growing a community on social media through documenting my successes and failures, none of this was ever, ever imaginable for me. I'm still in as much disbelief now as I was when I got my first job after college or when I got my first order for my small business. And because I'm still in shock, I often don't fully take it all in while it's happening. I live in anticipation for the future because the present is too overwhelming with good things and bad things but during this 49 palms oasis hike i allowed myself to focus on every step now i'm not much of a hiker so this hike was actually pretty challenging for me i was out of breath often my glutes and quads were burning and i was racing the sun i'm so grateful one of my best friends joined me on this trip and we just spent the whole what ended up being a 3.5 hour hike just talking and learning more about each other and deepening our friendship. As an That's introvert, wild. sometimes interacting with friends can be draining, <laughs> but something about our deep and mindful I conversations know. relaxed me. I felt yeah, comforted I so. that my friend was there to hear what I have to say, and I was just as eager to hear her thoughts. And I think I speak for all introverts when I say that this feeling is not super common for us. So yeah, find yourself cool. a good friend, just one or two, really, we don't need that many, and take some time off to just be a friend. The hike was rocky with not many plants or animals in sight until we reached really the oasis. In the middle of all this dirt and dryness and desert, we so ended up at somewhere and fertile and with water, a beautiful and view, snow. birds and bugs and greenery. It was beautiful and very representative of my life in that I have quite literally struggled my way through the past three years, not fully seeing what I was working toward. It seemed like there was no hope in finding an oasis at times. But the further I walked, the more proof I found of palm trees at the distance, which motivated me to walk faster and run full speed ahead. And when I got to the oasis, I couldn't really believe it, as if I never fully came to terms with the fact that my struggles would be worth it someday. So all this to say that we should all take daily breaks to exercise our bodies and our minds. I want to train my body to not feel super weak on super easy hikes, but I also want to train my mind to accept the value you of rest and relaxation and meditation and mindfulness rather than the go 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 mentality because if i keep living like that then i'll miss it all My Airbnb was an absolute dream. The way the host decorated the space to make it feel homey and aesthetic and safe and comfortable was just so beyond our expectations. We took some time every day to just stay home and enjoy the Airbnb because of how beautiful it was. From the pool, to the outdoor shower, to the at-home gym, which I low-key did not use at all, <laughs> to the hammock and fully stocked kitchen, we appreciated it all. I wondered why I didn't do this in my own home just sit in my space and appreciate what's around me. I feel like we have this misconception that relaxation requires money or traveling or lots of time. And really, we just need a clear and grateful mind and a safe space. Your safe space can be your home or your car, really anywhere you feel the safest. Find that place and sit in it and just appreciate it. I think I got too comfortable in my safe space, my city apartment, where I forgot to appreciate it and just take it all in. This Airbnb was a reminder that wherever I am, I should take some time every day to mindfully be grateful for the bed I sleep in and the fact that I have a home and a safe space to go back to. And if I ever lose it, I'll work hard to find another one. And low key, hopefully it'll be as lovely <laughs> as this Joshua Tree Airbnb. I feel most relaxed when I'm in nature. Something about how there's so much to see and hear when I'm in a forest or a beach or in this case in the desert. Something about the whole experience is so peacefully engaging to me that it feels impossible yeah, to feel anything but relaxed. On the last day of my trip, we decided to drive through most of the Joshua Tree National Park. It was incredible. We stopped by the main tourist spots, Skull Rock, Heart Rock, the Jolet Gardens, and admired the view as we drove through the beautiful, rocky scenery. As someone who loves to stay productive 24-7, I find it difficult to spend an entire day doing a singular activity. But I somehow convinced myself to let go of that expectation I put on myself that I need 
need to always be providing value in some way. I acknowledge that taking a whole day to feed my wonderment and exploratory desires adds so much value to my own spirit. And taking these moments for myself will keep me well rested and energized once I do get back to work. These moments, especially when spent in nature, can ground you more than any sort of self-help book or productivity TED talk can. Because being outside and breathing in the fresh air is the best wake up call that you are alive and meant to work to live, not live to work. And trust me, I struggle so much with this. But being out in the desert reminded me that I want to fill my life with experiences that fulfill me. I want to make a positive difference in my community. I want to see the world and learn about other cultures and help those who aren't as fortunate as I am. I want to make art and design fashion and have a successful career and avoid burnout. I want to multitask and be a productivity guru and never waste a day, but I don't want any of it if it means I can't find some time to give myself a break. So allow yourself to rest and take a break and enjoy the moment yeah, around you. Whether you're able to for a whole weekend or just for five minutes, it'll be worth it. Joshua Tree was an absolute dream. Thank you so much for all of your support and allowing me to go on this trip to share my small business, share the word about sustainable fashion, do a cute little runway show, and also take some time for myself to just relax and appreciate everything that's going on right now in my life. I'll see you guys in the next one.